Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am back on F1 2020, continuing on with this sort of Bahrain weekend's worth of racing. Yesterday I was in the Formula 3 category on R Factor 2. Unfortunately, F1 2020 doesn't have uh, Formula 3 yet, so we had to run it on that uh, platform. But today, moving up into Formula 2, and this is the first time I'm going to check out the uh, Formula 2 category on the sort of F1 games by Codemasters. So it's going to be interesting to see what the actual racing is like. And of course, there is a little bit of strategy that gets played into it. We have to make one pit stop in the feature race that's coming up first in today's video. I'm going to do the sprint race tomorrow in another video. But yeah, I have done a little bit of practice, done qualifying and whatnot, just to, you know, get a feel for the car before we go into the race and set the grid. And I must admit, I am really, really enjoying this uh, Formula 2 content on F1 2020. The car, I actually reckon it's more realistic than the F1 car. Not that I've driven an F2 or F1 car, but yeah, no, really, really enjoying the way it handles so far. Oh man, these graphics are getting so good. Look at that. I've forgotten this commentator's name. I always I always forget his name. He's, he's really good. And actually this season, even though, well, this race didn't take place uh, in real life, the Austrian race, uh, the first two Austrian races have been really good. Yep. <laughs> But there's another not long after at turn four. There are nine right handers, six left handers, and the possibility that we could see some flat spots in the tightest of those left handers at turn 10. Yeah, there's, I think, three DRS zones. You're a three time winner. So, oh, they got Davide. <laughs> yes. I, I didn't know they had Davide on the, uh, on the commentary. To be honest, the kid in the race is having a good start, so you can having a good start, so you can get your car in a good position. And push just at the end. Ah, he's got the most awesome voice ever. With that, then let's run through the grid order. Jordan King lines up on pole position, and side is Antoine. This is the 2019 um sort of drivers and teams. Unfortunately, they haven't updated them yet. Uh, I can understand why because well the game was basically released as the season was starting so they didn't really know who was competing in what team and what not in uh in formula two formula one they could do it but i i think i've read somewhere that there's gonna be a free dlc that's gonna come out uh, when they actually do update the drives and skin i mean the cars are the same so yeah but as you saw starting off 17th i'm definitely doing a one stopper you never ever well actually no there has been two stoppers at bahrain done before i think the year that Leclerc won the championship, he was like the only one that did it. I think it was at Bahrain because the tire wear was that bad. But um, I'm going to go. I'm not going to go out the norm. I'm just going to go the one stopper. As you can see there, it looks like it's going to be better. So setup wise, I just found a setup on the Steam Workshop. I don't really know, I mean, how this car responds to setup changes and how the physics works. So. But anyway, set off on this formation lap. So we're not dead last, but... Uh, my qualifying lap wasn't actually too good. Again, first time driving it, so wasn't really up to scratch yet. I forgot you. There. There's no um, easing off of the clutch like <laughs> what there is in R Factor 2. You're either on or off the clutch. It's just, which is really annoying. So you can't actually do the whole sort of bite point and use the slip of the clutch to minimize the wheel spin and just got to purely guess the throttle percentage Actually, I don't even know why I'm bothering warming up the tires we're in Bahrain for God's sake it's probably like 40 degrees out alrighty here we go Formula 2 Bahrain oh. terrible getaway <laughs> I don't know what went wrong there alright into turn one uh, this is where everything goes to shit oh Around the outside, if you don't mind. Yeah, that, there's always mayhem at turn one at Sakir. Anyway, up into turn three, so we can nab a couple more. Oop, nibble the back of him. So, so just set a camera. Oh my god. What a driver. <laughs> ah, so much wheel spin. 
Up into 12th. Well, wow, that has been a good start. Terrible get away from the line. Just could not get the bite point right, but. On. Cold tyres, first lap. Just no rear traction whatsoever. Sketchy that curb is if you grab it. Went for the whole crisscross and munted it. Alright, come on. So 16 laps is the race distance. I haven't got long, but still plenty of time to have to try and deal with the tyre wear. Defend here. Ah, fucking stupid fucking curb. Okay, we've lost the position. That's us down a place. Uh. And I am not driving well at all. This has been a terrible sort of second lap. Disgusting. Man, I'm sweating like a pig. Struggling for traction more than anything else. DRS here. Oh, and the outside. You. Stop freaking hitting that curb on the exit of that last corner. Problem is, I don't have DRS, so I'm just can't seem to catch the guys in front. Well, that's going to help us because that guy behind didn't get the DRS, so... God, just sweating down my face. It is so hot in here. I'm really feeling that Bahrain heat. <laughs> just can't quite get close enough to the DRS, uh, to get the DRS from the guy in front. Trying to aim for lap seven to pit. Not quite close enough. And I'm sweating like a pig. Actually, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to wait one more lap. I think everyone's going to pick this lap.
Alright, it's got to make this good inlet. Come on. Uh, this hasn't been a very good inlap. Maybe it should have gone in when they told me to. Good in and out. Jordan is in the pits. Jordan in the pits. Oh shit, I can't pick because my teammate's in there. Fuck! That's why they wanted to bring me in the lap before. What an idiot. Alright, well, I can't double stack, so we'll just have to go another lap. Idiot. Now this is the in-lap. Box this lap. Box this lap. We can't take you right now. Pit in next lap. You fucking can. Box this lap. Box this lap. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Got that confirmed. I have to make one stop. I don't know why it was saying make zero. Alright. Come on, in and out. Let's go. We are driving for MP Motorsport. So we've got the MP boys uh, behind us. I think this, uh, well, the car that I'm driving is driven by something rag ragging the through if you're an F2 fan you know what I'm talking about absolute nightmare but I've got this is gonna take longer isn't it release, release. all right let's see where we come out we were 12th I believe before we went into the pits yeah so we're gonna lose a couple spots because um we stayed out too long, but we do have newer tyres than everyone else, so... Oh shit, someone there. Oh, yeah. Wait, how's he got... Oh, apologies. Concede, bruh. Alright, so we got seven laps to go, new tyres, way newer tyres than everyone else in front of us, so it's no excuse to try and gain a couple more positions, but yeah, totally screwed up the strategy in this one, should have gone in when the team told me to. Always listen to your engineer, whether he's virtual or <laughs> real. No, fucking curb every time.
I'm sweating. I just can't, can't get close, close enough. I'm in a stalemate. I'm faster than the guy behind me and slower than the guy in front of me, so I'm sort of stuck. And I really screwed myself over by trying to overcut these guys in front of me. Well, ended up getting undercut by three or so cars. But yeah, no, it's not been a good strategy run race by myself. That's really hampered us. Thankfully, next one, there is no such thing as strategy because there's no pit stop. So that was about half a ton too much curb. Oh, come on. Driving like Scheiser. Really got to be smooth in these cars. I must admit, way smoother than the F1 car. And nine tenths off in that first sector. Hey, I don't know if you can actually change the fuel load before the race, but. Definitely have way too much fuel. Three laps. That's a, a lot of extra weight that I should not be carrying. So check that out for the next one. Caution, caution. Oh, car stopped. spot. Another yellow flag, something's happened. Slow running car. Another free spot. Oh, that's gone kaput. <laughs> Alright, last lap of the race. Still just can't seem to get anywhere near close enough the guys in front to make a move. Oh, that's too deep. But I've learned a lot in this race, so I can say that much. And then the overcutting is completely and utterly <laughs> pointless. Hit when your engineer tells you to. And uh, don't overuse the tyre on the first couple of laps, like what I did out the pits, because you can tell now I just have nothing left. I've been in two laps later thinking I'd have a whole bunch, oh, a whole bunch of grip at the end of the race compared to the AI, but obviously not. Right, we should just be able to hold on to this 13th place finish. Considering we started 17th, so at least we moved forward, but definitely should have been in front of the two guys, well, in front of me, right now. Good around that last sector, it's just, you know, that uh, middle one that struggling through, but our teammates only gone and won the race, so that's not, <laughs> not the best thing to see when you're sort of running a career mode trying to fight for F1 spots but anyway this has been Formula 2 on F1 2020 thanks guys for tuning in stay tuned we're gonna run uh, the sprint race tomorrow 
and hopefully do a little bit better but no 13th on my debut in, in this category on this game you know I'm happy happy about that <laughs>